proving their progress. While some have called the transportation cabinet questioning to the work to reopen US 23 in Floyd County, today officials asked us to ride along to give you a first-hand look at just what they are dealing with. WIMT's Alex Casper Peak went through the hills and has more. Emergencies, whatever. This is their way in the now. This is the road crews built trying to reach the rock slide that shut down US 23. We have uh, some excavators working and they're building the road on down to where we can access the slide. While you may not see progress from down below, transportation officials want to assure you of the work being done. From the ground at the roadway, you can't see any of this work being done. But looking at it from the top, you can see cars moving. The danger of unstable rock, mud, and trees remain for now. There's material from the top all the way down. So safety of our motors is going to be the premium concern throughout the entire duration of the project. They say drivers should expect delays while they are moving material. Highway officials roughly estimate it will take six to eight weeks to clear the slide but say that can change. Now with Memorial Day weekend ahead of us, crews are staying off the heavy machinery. That way traffic can continue moving smoothly and they won't have to shut down the highway. For now, live in Floyd County, I'm Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. Alex, thank you. Now meanwhile, highway officials and police have warned drivers to slow down in that work zone. This morning, KVE officers were ready to write tickets to drivers not obeying the law. Officials say they caught one person going about 40 miles per hour over the speed limit, and the limit in that zone is now 45 miles per hour.